Happy Tuesday, I hope we're all doing really well. I'm coming in here today to talk to you guys about fitness, exercise and its importance for your overall complete well-being. Um, I'm Izzy Bradshaw, I had a 10-year corporate property career, um, director age 30 and actually pursued a completely different and new career in the fitness industry about 18 months ago and became a personal trainer and now I'm an online coach right here on social media. So the reason I wanted to talk to you guys today just about physical fitness and its importance for your overall complete well-being is because of my own personal experience, but I also think a lot of the time through Instagram in particular, because it's a very visual media, we can, if we're not on a fitness journey, we can look at people and think, oh, they're so vain, it's just a focus on their own physical results, um, and it's it, it looks all physical. And I just want to say it's about so much more than the physical, and I know for some people the aesthetic result is super, super important, but it's what it does to, to you on the inside as a result of the physical exercise that is the most important part in my opinion. Um, and the reason for that is that I've seen my own complete mindset shift um, and my own confidence build as a result of regular physical exercise which means that, you know, you, you may well agree with me here, like when you physically exercise, you get yourself into a routine, you find that you want to eat more healthily because it's kind of conducive for what you're doing and you feel a lot better. And the reason for that from a scientific perspective is that the body releases endorphins when you exercise, which makes you feel really good. It's got the same hormone in it as actually chocolate. So when you crave chocolate and you don't want to exercise, that's likely why. Um, but the thing is, is that often when we're kind of stuck in a bit of a kind of physical exercise rut, it's a bit of a vicious circle because we can't motivate ourselves because we think it's too much effort. And then we feel even worse. And that's because physical fitness is so, so important for our mindset and our overall well-being. Like, as human beings, we were, you know, we were put on this earth to be able to move our bodies and exercise. And that is so, so true. And if you look at anybody who is highly successful, no matter what it is they do, whether or not it's in the fitness industry or even if they're an entrepreneur or they're highly successful in, Central London, New York, no matter what it is, you'll probably find that they exercise regularly and most likely every day. And it doesn't mean that it has to be some crazy hit workout where you're like sweating a bucket, albeit, you know, you might love that. I would always say go for exercise that you enjoy. Like start with something small because if you start with something small um, and you enjoy it, you're more likely to stick to it over time. And the thing is, is that once you get into the habit of regular physical exercise, it becomes something you enjoy and you'll notice a shift in your mindset. You'll feel so much happier. You'll go about your day in a much more productive way and you'll see much more success no matter what it is you do. Even if it's like you're a stay-at-home mum and you just wanna feel better in your skin, you wanna be happier, a happier mother for your family, it makes such a huge difference. So I want you to think about what you could do today to change the way that you move your body in some small way. I'm not saying go and like climb Mount Everest or whatever, but think about it because it's going to change the way you feel and also it will help you then focus on nutrition which when you're fueling your body in the right way, it makes you feel great from the inside out. It's not about the result on the outside, albeit that's nice. That's just a result of the way that you feel on the inside. So I just wanted to share it because it's become such a huge part of my life and I think you know it is very much like front and center of the modern day world. We're all very aware that wellness and well-being and health is super, super important. And I think often we have really busy schedules and we feel that we can't fit it in, but I'm gonna tell you that's an excuse. I'm gonna call you out on it because you can get up half an hour earlier. You just have to put your alarm clock outside your bedroom and you can do a home workout. It's not hard. It's just taking a decision that you're actually gonna move your backside and you're gonna do it and honestly you'll thank me later so tough love coming for you but I know it's gonna help you enormously and if you want any of my workout tips for moving your body and then nutritionally like fueling your body in the right way let me know but there's the internet there's so much out there and I hope that's been really really useful thank you for listening to me